yung weight natin, which is padaw natin, ang nag-occur dyan is si motion. So, summation of forces at y is equal natin. Dahil wala tayong force natin, so pwede na natin hanap if directions natin. If nasa left si apply, apply force, so substituting the given newtons. For <laughs> video we're going to talk about physics for engineers and in this video I'm going to give an example regarding friction so meron time two most common types of friction which is static friction and kinetic friction so and guys just keep on watching and let's start problem so how much force is needed to keep a 300 kilogram box Moving at constant velocity on a level 4. So use mu sub k or is equal to 0.28 for the coefficient of kinetic friction. And mu sub s is equal to 0.33 for the coefficient of static friction. So, ayan, na-draw ko na figure. So, ito yung box natin and also na-label ko na rin yung mga nag act na forces sa box. So, ito yung weight natin which is pa downward normal force, and si force of friction natin. So, now, let's draw muna yung free body diagram. So, dito sa pataas natin, ang nag-occur dyan is si normal force, pababa is si weight, and sa positive is si force of friction, and dito sa sa left, sa x component, is si applied force. So, now, Hanapin muna natin yung normal force natin. So, using the Newton second law of motion, so, summation of forces at y is equal to mass times acceleration at, at y. So, ayan, zero na to. So, again, this is zero. So, it is equal to kung yung nag occur na or yung nag act na force sa y. So, this is normal force minus weight. So, bakit minus? Dahil nandito siya pa downward. So, assuming that this is our positive direction. So, now, ang hinahanap sa atin is yung normal force natin. So, ililipat lang natin to para maging positive itong si weight. So, normal force now is equal to weight. And also, sa previous lessons natin, Weight is also equal to mass times gravity natin. Dahil wala tayong given na weight. And, pero, meron naman tayong given na mass. So, ito na gagamitin natin. Since equal lang naman sila. So, substituting the given values, normal force is equal to mass na 300 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared na value na gravity natin. So, calculating the values, ang normal force natin is equal to 2,943 newtons. And now, nahanap na natin yung normal force natin. So, pwede na natin hanapin yung applied force natin. So, sa applied force naman natin, gagamitin na natin yung summation of forces at x or yung horizontal components. So, it is now equal to mass times acceleration. So, zero na yan. Again, this is zero yung net force at x, and ilalagay natin yung mga forces na nag act sa x natin. So, force of friction minus F sub A. Bakit minus ulit? Since, sabi ko nga, ito yung positive directions natin. F nasa left si applied force. So, therefore, negative siya. And now, ang hinahanap na sa atin is si applied force. So, ililipat na natin siya 
para maging positive siya. So, it is now equal to force of friction natin. So, ngayon, paano natin manalaman itong si force of friction? So, andito nga, si mu sub k and si mu sub s. Ngayon, ang given sa atin, moving siya at constant velocity. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya at rest. So, ang gagamitin natin dito is si mu sub k or coefficient of kinetic friction. So, ito na ang gagamitin natin, mu sub k multiply to normal force natin. So, applied force, so substituting the given value sa so mu sub k natin is equal to 0.28 times si normal force na nakuha natin na 2,943 newtons. So, our applied, applied force now is equal to Calculating the values, 824.04 newtons. So, yun na siya guys. Ang normal force natin is equal to 2,943 newton. And the applied force is now equal to 824.04 newtons. So, that's it for today, guys. I hope may natutunan kayo kahit kaunti. And also, um, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe button, and also yung notification bell para mananotify kayo every time na meron akong bagong upload the video regarding physics. So, yun guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!